Hi, welcome to day 24, Connect Life, Purpose Driven Life. And today, Simon's going to share with us on the theme of being transformed by truth. Hi, everyone, and welcome to day 24 of our Purpose Driven Life books. I hope you are really enjoying reading through it and are being encouraged and challenged as you read through it daily. Today, I will be talking about being transformed by truth. Before I became a Christian, I was a completely different person, but when I encountered Jesus, I changed. The Bible refers to Jesus as the Word of God, and the Word of God is truth. Knowing the truth is so important, but being changed by the truth is even more important. But we need to know the truth to be changed by it. If you were to plant a seed, nothing would change in the seed until it has soil, water and light. Once it has these three important needs, it would begin to grow and transform into whatever flower, tree or fruit it produces. In the same way, with us as Christians, we want to become like Jesus and we can only become like him through reading the Bible and studying how he lived his life. The Bible is our solid food that we need to grow. To be a healthy disciple of Jesus, feeding on God's word must be our top priority. Jesus calls this abiding. He says, if you abide in my word, you are truly disciples of mine. In chapter 24, Rick gives us three activities of how to abide in God's word. Number one is to accept its authority. We need to trust in God's word completely. This means when we need wisdom or have decisions to make or advice we might need or on something, we should not turn to the wrong places, but always turn to God's word and allow God to speak to us through it. Number two is assimilate its truth. Choose to fill your mind with God's word so the Holy Spirit can speak to you and transform you through it. We can fill our minds with it by receiving it reading it, researching it, remembering it, and reflecting on it. If we choose to give up half hour of our 24 hours a day that we have by studying the word of God, we can read through a whole Bible twice in one year. And number three is applying its principles. Receiving, reading, researching, and remembering are all useless if we fail to put them into practice. We must become doers of a word. Maybe after reading God's word, make a daily small action plan and ask yourself, what has God told me today in his word that I haven't started doing yet? I hope that during this lockdown, that not only as a church, but as individual, individuals, we have started to focus on God's word and to grow in our relationships with God as well. I'm just going to pray. Lord, Thank you that your word has a power to completely change and transform lives. I pray that you would encourage us to focus more on your word and to start applying it in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Simon, for sharing with us. If you're watching this on Tuesday, then don't forget this evening at 7.30, Connect Life are going to be connecting together for a prayer meeting here on Facebook. And you are very welcome to join us. God bless you. Have a great day.